What's good? Episode whatever of the pod. I don't even remember. I don't even know what day it is. When are we? It's been so long, my friends. Thought I'd uh, start off with playing a little song. If you know, you know. You know, sometimes I just feel like I never get to play any music.
let you go to heaven, yeah, to heaven, babe. keyboard but yeah shout out shout out to the little keyboard we got that the other day for free i love that i love that it's an elisis harmony 32 sponsor us i'll take the big one um this is a guitar that i got pretty much for free 13 dollars i think i paid for this guitar the homies at the music store were like dude you can't sell this you want it sold it's got a pickup it's like a bridge pickup, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's basically an acoustic guitar, but um, it looks like a hollow body. It sounds like an acoustic guitar. I like it. I'm using it uh, these gigs coming up, so I thought I'd play it. I think I'd play acoustic. Looks acoustic. And it sounds acoustic. So we're good. Yeah, so kind of getting it, getting it dialed, intonated and such. Yeah, what's good? It's Brother Brandon over here playing you a song. Um, that was Cherish This Day. Look at my notes. Because that wasn't really part of the plan, but I was like, man, I just want to play some guitar. Um, okay, so the first thing I have written down is the music that's coming out. I've decided that I'm going to start doing the SoundCloud thing. And um, I have a project that I've been trying to release called Brother Brandon. Maybe you can check it out. There's a couple of songs on my channel called Brother Brandon. And um, Distro Kids being a pain in the you know what. So I think I'm just going to go to some other platform because I don't want to delete all of my stuff and uh, it won't let me start a new one. So I think I'm going to go to some other streaming platform. And SoundCloud seems to be doing pretty good. Um, so, yeah, shout out SoundCloud. I think we're going to go with SoundCloud with Brother Brandon. I have about eight songs I could release on there. So I think I'm going to be doing one a week on SoundCloud only. And uh, that way it'll be on Spotify and everything else, because right now it just kind of lives on Bandcamp. And um, I, I recently realized that that's a disservice to myself, because I used to think, oh, I'm only going to put it on Bandcamp, you know, because I love Bandcamp. Shout out Bandcamp. You guys have paid the bills and uh, you know fed me for a long time so shout out we love that and it's the easiest platform to upload your music on and um yeah anyways shout, shout out bandcamp no nothing wrong with, with bandcamp but it's just like it's not as popular as spotify or youtube or any of these other places so if you put it on whatever soundcloud or blah blah, blah you know it, it'll put it on spotify and all these other things for you so i realized you know, not only am I missing out on the SoundCloud plays, I'm missing out on a lot of other kind of things if I just leave it on Bandcamp only. So um, think about that for your next release. Try to try to put it everywhere. That's, that's what I'm thinking about. Because I think uh, the more the merrier these days anyways. So yeah, Brother Brandon on SoundCloud once a week. And then, um, yeah, this Thursday I'm playing this bluegrass gig. And um, it's at STEM in Denver. In uh, Reno, Rhino, however they say it. It's the art district. It's very cool over there. It's a nice little joint. Cider, steak, hamburgers kind of thing. Um, and they want us to play some upbeat bluegrass music. And we've been doing that uh, twice this month. And um, yeah, not too long before that too. So a couple weeks ago, I guess. And um, we're going to record a little EP for that, I think. Probably today or tomorrow, I guess. Because today's Tuesday and the gig's on Thursday. So not too many more opportunities. But um, yeah, I want to put some music out there of some bluegrass music because I feel like that would be appreciated by people. I just didn't record it. That's, you know, half the battle of that. Maybe I should talk to Jordan because uh, Jordan's going to play bass and he's been doing live sound recordings. So uh, I just said that out loud. And maybe we should do that because that would be easy as well. It's like either you record the gig or you, re you record it at home. You know what I mean? That's kind of like the only thing that's been working for me lately, at least in terms of like the right now, let's just do it kind of thing. Scheduling the studio is also a possibility, but that requires money and time and effort. So I'm going to do it when we're already there. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to have a little bluegrass EP coming out. 
probably this week. That's my goal. Because I've been saying it for a long time. And we finally got the songs together. We played a couple of shows. I think we could do some recording. And then we could start getting some gigs, get some videos, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So that's, expect that. It's going to be called Fiddle in the Fern, I think, is what I'm going with. I, I like that. Because it's plural, and I think it implies fiddling. And fern is like, it's cute, you know? I don't know, that's old-timey. Dinosaurs and shit. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Ooh. I've also been listening to a lot of Bobby McFerrin lately. And uh, that album, Hush, with Yo-Yo Ma, incredible, incredible. I'm, this has been on repeat. And um, listen to that. Cause some, some of those, you're like, what time signature is this in? <laughs> you know, like, they're doing some shit on that record. And uh, it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoy it. And it, it's inspired me to try to work on my singing a little bit more. Because when I listen to Bobby McFerrin, I think about things that I imagine that he would have thought about, I guess, about his own voice. And he sounds like he's really thought about his tone of his voice, just like the, the pure projection and the sound and the quality and the warmth and the depth and, you know what I mean? The tone, the timbre. Incredible. And, um, yeah, it's just like, man, that would be so cool to get some music where it's kind of just vocally driven. And there's some cello stuff on there. But uh, we could do that. I could do that. Shout out Bobby. I need to, like, listen to, like, every record he's ever done. I bet there's a million. Um, but yeah, it's very inspiring stuff. If you haven't heard that, I'll, I'll check that out. And it's made me want to just try to sit down. Maybe even just with my looper, because I have a couple microphones I could just plug into this thing. And, um, yeah, just, like, plug in, you know, some looper shit. And then just like kind of loop some vocal stuff see what happens i could make some tracks like that i think it'd be cool it could be maybe some beatboxing or some ambient stuff or maybe some more rhythmic thing maybe i could try to like sing a song and then like loop like the vocal accompaniment over it there's a lot of possibilities um yeah so i think i'm gonna try to do some like kind of like acapella music if you could imagine that like just like choir but it's all me being the choir because i don't really know any other singers um, so yeah, shout out. I'm thinking about doing like a choir, vocal kind of thing. And um, it's going to be hard. I don't, I've don't. i never done anything like that before. So I think it'll make me better at singing. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's going to that's gonna be crazy. Just thinking about it hurts my brain. But I think all I got to do is just sit down and try. The only ways I could really imagine that really working too, is like I just, I've been trying to overanalyze it, I guess, is... I have to sit here, and I have to kind of, like, figure out a way to record myself just doing it with the looper. Or I need to go sit over in the chair, and I'm just, like, holding the microphone. Like, just in record, like, space bar, hit, go. Or it's more of, like, kind of like a freeform live kind of performance, and then I'm, like, chopping it up. I'm not sure. We haven't even tried yet, but I'm kind of just imagining the ideas there. Um, yeah, shout out. Okay, so that's one, two, three projects we have. Brother Brandon coming out on SoundCloud every week, which will mean Spotify and yada yada, everything else. we got the bluegrass thing we're going to record at least by Thursday. Maybe we might do both. Uh, Buy McFerrin music. I really just want to start that. I'm just putting it on the list because I feel like when I write it down, it makes me want to scratch it off. And then I have this Paris and Machado uh, and Catboy Sound trio record coming out pretty soon. Uh, I finished it last night. And... Um, pretty dope it's pretty dope it's really cool it's like me playing little buddy sampler guy and then machado on drums and Pierce on keyboard for some of the songs and um i took it home and just kind of like did a lot of overdubs and shit and it, it came out really cool because it was just like sampler and drums or guitar keyboard drums or something it was like pretty simple and not that i mind that but i added bass and some keyboards i added the piano over here that you can't see i guess and um yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And, um, yeah, we like that. We like that. So, shout out to that. I need to drop that. I gotta chop it up and put it out, and there's... It's probably, like, 12 songs. It's almost, like, 45 minutes long. Um, I'm not sure. Stay tuned on that, but it's a long one. It's a good one. It's all, it's all, all live recorded. 
uh, at Paris' studio in Portland. And then I took it back here to the Haku Records and did my thing on it. This is kind of like our, our little uh, collaboration baby there. And uh, yeah, I'm still trying to get Machado to play some sax on there. Maybe we'll see what happens. And um, that's going to come out soon. It's almost done. Super, super close to finishing. And then uh, shout out to the YouTube channel. I feel like this is kind of why I like, made this episode today was um, I got inspired because we monetized the YouTube channel, dude. We're at 1,480 something subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, we finally started making some money on this MF, dude. Go on. And, uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. I mean, man, I've been at this since, like, 2018, just trying to freaking make some YouTube videos. That's insane, man. And uh, I think there's, like, six, 700 videos on my channel. And then uh, now, finally, the, the videos used to exceed the subscribers for a long time, so it's cool to see that. And then uh, I think a lot of y'all came from that Samurai tape that I dropped pretty recently. And uh, shout out to that tape. I don't know if the algorithm liked that one, I guess. Because uh, I don't think that album was any more or less special than any of the other 115 albums that I've made. It's cool, don't get me wrong. There's some good songs on there. Uh, shout out to The Mask, Sabia Cat. Um, yeah, Six Kills is on that, Typewriters on that. You know, some good homies that we collaborate with on the regular. So, um, yeah, those I have songs with them on a lot of my albums. And, um, and those are some of my collaborators on the internet. Um, Salvia's from the UK, Six is from Texas. I'm not sure where typewriters from. We met him on Discord. All of them. And um, yeah, it's going to be super cool. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. It's on the page. We, we hang out in there and cook up every day. Uh, we've been trying to do beat battles every Sunday in there. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a good way to like write songs. And we do it in 45 minutes. So you have to write your song, use the sample, make a beat, whatever song in 45 minutes and post it in the chat. And, and uh, everyone kind of shares their idea. And we just kind of hang out and chill, talk about our music, talk about our song, learn some production stuff. And uh, it's always cool to hear like what other people did with the song. So yeah, we'll be doing that every Sunday. And um, we're stoked on that, we're stoked on that. Uh, beat battle every Sunday in the Discord. Um, yeah, it's been a very interesting time in the world huh all this pda stuff the hurricanes um uh, man it's just like what's going on what's going on i want to talk about some music stuff um here's an idea that i think probably the piano maybe what's sort of better for it, but well we'll do it on the guitar maybe maybe we'll do both so um my i'm calling it common tones and I, I i love this idea i do it all the time there's uh, so many ways you could go about this, right? Um, I'm just trying to pick, we'll pick one note, because I think you could do it with two. And the more notes you do, the less choices you have. So one is probably better. We'll say G. So G is at the top note of every chord. And you can kind of just walk it down chromatically, maybe for the example. But it's cool to try to make some music out of it. And this is one of my favorite things. I do this all the time. Like, you know, I could have, uh, I'll put it in the looper. G's the top note, maybe it's F. Like here is F with G on it. You could say, um, it's like how do you get F sharp with G? That's kind of a nice one. I'll call this uh, F sharp with the D chord. Like F sharp over D sus2 maybe, because you get this E natural there. You put the G on top, it's not bad. G. You got E flat. 
And that's kind of nice, you know what I mean? I'm just going to turn this off. Uh, I got another idea. But yeah, check this. I need to grab this. I think this will be a better example.
Ooh. But yeah, uh, my other thought originally, but I was like, you should play the normal one, is uh, you can play this uh, first version, G, sus2 over B. sounds. Like you play a B dominant 7 with the G natural. It's augmented. You never should have had a dominant 7 augmented. I don't show that hard, dude. Yeah, that's a B.
G minor pentatonic right there, you know what I mean? Because G's in all the notes, so you can play G. Because it starts on D, and it goes to C, which is G. And then D flat, that's just trying to tone sub. And the walk up, chromatic sub, you can kind of do whatever you want, but I mean, A and we're playing G minor pentatonic, so that is a B flat chord. So it works. Just you play G when you play G. G in every chord. It doesn't really matter. You think you can play it anyway. That's a good one too, because really we're playing G. And uh, the 5 of G is D, so. That's cool. Yeah, it's like really like a fun way to write songs. And, uh, you know, I think if I thought about the rules like that, if you tried to write that regression down, it would make no sense. I mean, one to four to sharp, four major seven to two to flat three, I guess. I mean, that's so totally confusing, but it's a little more heady. It's not a scale per se. That's a better way to say it. Because um, it's like, it starts on G major, but really I'm playing this, uh, I, I love doing this too, the major and the minor in Clash. You know, like, I mean, you gotta bend the three up to the major three. They call it the, the bluesy third. And you get to scoop it, you know, it's always a uh, flat three to major three. And yeah, we love that, we love that shit. So, um, yeah, check that out, dude, check that shit out. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go now. I've been talking for a while. It's all these in the chat. But, uh, yeah, we love you guys. I'm gonna put this shit out. Sorry for the delay. I'm gonna try to get better at this podcast thing, because now we got the freaking YouTube channel monetized. So, uh, thanks to, for listening to me talk about music. Love you guys.